Tonight, the pain of lose, losing a loved one is turning into anger. A local woman has been awarded more than half a million dollars for a mistake that may never, ever be reversed. The cemetery where her mother was supposed to spend eternity lost the body. Action News' Leslie Corsi has the story from the north side. It's grief on top of grief. The owners here at Restlawn Memorial Park have been ordered to pay a local woman $660,000 for misplacing her mother's body. It was 2006 and Guy Rubin's client, 81-year-old Lovey Gardner, lost her mother. Funeral arrangements have been made years prior to her death. Gardner's mom was to be laid to rest in the family mausoleum at Restlawn Memorial Park. As she's grieving and as they're ready for the ceremony to go for her mom to be placed in the, uh, in the vault in the mausoleum, they informed her the permanent mausoleum hasn't even been built. Reuben says his client was told her mother would be put in a temporary common mausoleum until her family's was finished. So they said to her, we'll put your mom in a borrowed crypt just like Jesus was. Ms. Gardner agreed, but years passed and still no mausoleum. Fed up, she decided to sue. And they finally told us right before the trial, just last week, we can't positively identify where she is and we've checked the caskets and the caskets aren't marked like they're supposed to be with, with tags, like dog tags. With the body lost and the case in court, a jury held the cemetery responsible, awarding Ms. Gardner more than a half million dollars. Now, Rubin says the next move is to have the cemetery start some forensic testing to find Ms. Gardner's mom so she can finally rest in peace. Maybe we'll need court orders to open some caskets and finally bring this to a closure. Ms. Gardner sued for breach of contract as well as pain and suffering, and it took a jury only 15 minutes to side with her. On the north side, Leslie Corsi, CBS 47 Action News. Action News did try contacting Restlawn for comment, and our calls have not been returned.